In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the concept of logarithmic differentiation. You see the importance of these type of questions? The problem was asked in three consecutive years in the CBSC previous board examination. The question is differentiate with respect to x for y is equal to sin x whole raised to the power cos inverse x. Now again, first of all, whenever you see a question, see why it falls in the category of logarithmic differentiation. And the obvious reason is that both base and the exponent are the functions of the power are in the form of x, are the functions of x. I write the heading as solution and let's start the question and solve it. Now, it is y raised to the power, y is equal to sin x raised to the power cos inverse x. Again, the same thing like the previous question, taking log both sides. Taking log both sides, so it becomes log y is equal to log sin x raised to the power cos inverse x. I hope this makes sense. Now, how to do it? Log y is there, here also something is there. You know the formula log m raised to the power n. Power comes outside in the front, rest everything remains as it is. Right? So it is cos inverse x, log sin x and here it is log y. Crystal clear, simple concepts. Now you have to differentiate y because the question asks you to find out the differentiation. So differentiating with respect to x, it is what? It is nothing but log y, so it becomes 1 by y dy by dx is equal to. Now we have cos inverse x, the first function, log sin x, the second function. So it is nothing but the product of two functions, apply the product rule, leave the first as it is, take the differentiation of the second. So, differentiation of this is what? Log of something is 1 upon that, 1 upon sin x. And because it is a chain rule, log is there, then sin x is there. So, differentiation of sin x is cos x. Plus, log sin x is there as the second function. Leave the second as it is. Take the differentiation of the first. What is the differentiation of cos inverse x? It is nothing but, if you remember the formulas, minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Now, what has to be done? Now, let's simplify it. Let's make things a bit more clear. I again tell you what have we done. We just did cos inverse x, 1 upon sin x, cos x and plus that. Means we just expanded it, right? So now, dy by dx is there and 1 upon y is there. Let's keep y to the other side. So it becomes y multiplied by this whole thing. Now, what is this whole thing? 1 upon sin x is there, this is there, so you can write cos inverse x, cot x, plus, because cos upon sin is cot x, plus log sin x, and minus 1 upon under root 1 minus x square is there, so let's make it minus only here, it becomes easy for us to justify cells upon under root 1 minus x square. Now in the next step you have to do, I am doing here only in this step, I am telling you, I am doing in the other step y is there. Can we leave the answer as it is? No. I told you in the previous question also, y is there, you have to substitute the value of y. So it is dy by dx is equal to sin x raised to the power cos inverse x and the rest to follow. One thing more that some students may not make it cortex, rather they may do cos inverse x and cos x cancellation. See, simplification Leaving the last step of the answer same is not possible in differentiation questions usually. I may write sin x upon cos x as tan x. This answer is correct. If I leave in the form of tan x, again it will be correct. If I leave in the form of sin x upon cos x, it will be correct. Simplification is up to you. My task is to just teach you how to go about the question. Last steps you can do yourself. Right? So here I am doing it like that only. It is up to you what to do. Cos inverse x, cot x minus log sin x upon under root 1 minus x square. And this is the answer that I have left for you. The answer is important. The question was important. 
not only this question because it was asked in the three consecutive years but questions of this category logarithmic differentiation are all important i advise you to practice more and more questions of such kind